Boy, singer Taylor Swift increasingly has been pushing leftist ideology, and her most recent foray into the political sphere not only sees her take a leftist tack, it sees her completely misconstrue Christianity and embrace a double standard about her own position on government and so-called protection. Hi everyone, I'm Gardner Goldsmith for MRC TV, and here's the story. Andrea Morris and Benjamin Gill report for CBN News that Taylor Swift, the hugely successful pop singer, recently offered her unique form of secular sermonizing through a Netflix documentary called Miss Americana, which acts as an extension of her courageous revelations about personal political views over the past few years. Quote, in the aftermath of President Trump's election, Swift has not only been speaking out about political candidates, she's even been using her music to promote a pro-LGBT agenda. For example, Swift's rainbow-clad music video last year for her single, You Need to Calm Down, is an ode to the LGBTQ community and takes jabs at those who disagree with the lifestyle. And what better way to follow up the multi-vectored act of misconstruing parental concerns over LGBTQ ideology in tax-funded schools, alienating people who recognize real biology, and dismissing folks who understand the proper use of pronouns, than to claim the label of Christian while promoting precisely the opposite. In her Netflix spotlight, Ms. Swift did exactly that, spontaneously. And by spontaneously, perhaps we ought to amplify that, spontaneously being offered in front of a camera crew, lighting crew, audio team, and channeled through editors and producers. But spontaneously, Ms. Swift expostulated about why she supported leftist Democrat Phil Bredesen in the 2018 Tennessee Senate race against pro-life Republican Marsha Blackburn, recalling her struggles with parents and publicists about whether she should post her opinions online. She said, quote, And it's right and wrong at this point, and I can't see another commercial and see her disguising these policies behind the words Tennessee Christian values. Those aren't Tennessee Christian values. I live in Tennessee. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. As Tennessee lawmakers were voting to limit abortions in the state in 2019, Swift told The Guardian, obviously I'm pro-choice, adding, I just can't believe this is happening. Ms. Swift might want to review the Old and New Testaments, review what she considers to be the taking of an innocent life, consider her position on tax-funded policing to keep the peace, and tell people if she, perhaps, is being a touch heretical, inconsistent, and hypocritical. See, any Judeo-Christian approach to the matter of abortion, in fact, any syllogistic, deductive investigation of this issue, must recognize basic truisms about the issue. And, of course, about the purported justification of all political so-called governance. Regardless of whether Taylor Swift considers herself a Christian, one might ask her if in all these recent years of her political posturing, she's ever called for the abolition of statutes purporting to protect human beings from aggression by others. She seems very comfortable not questioning the idea that people should be taxed to provide police and a justice system that supposedly protect human beings. In fact, she enjoys not only tax-funded police protection, but also her own private security forces. So while she accepts the idea that government will write statutes about protecting human beings, and she certainly seems to value protection, one might ask her what she considers to be human beings. She, of course, will be unable to deny certain very obvious truths. I don't yeah. think I can actually do that. One, at the moment of conception, the fetus is human. 
The unborn child is a unique human with its own DNA, distinct from that of the parents. I don't know what's been going on. Two, at the moment of conception, the human fetus is being alive and growing on that great arc of natural existence from conception to death that God directs. There's a part of it that I don't quite understand. Three, if Ms. Swift believes political force should be employed to supposedly protect human beings from other human beings, she needs to reach a consistent conclusion about whether all human beings will be so-called protected by this wonderful government force. If she wants to be consistent and supports state statutes to that effect, then she must apply the principle to the unborn. There is no escape from this logic. There is no escape from this morality. God sets the rules of life and logic and of all reality. And Ms. Swift, in claiming she is a Christian, not only defies Christianity, she defies the logical capacity God gave her to discern truth from falsehood. She might not realize it, but her own faulty reasoning and misplaced so-called concern open her up to criticism of the very protection she enjoys. She could do much better if she took a closer look at Christ's words, and then at biology, and then at her own insupportable stance on what seems to be a very shallow view of the value of human life. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. And of course, as we always say, visit us on Rumble because Rumble doesn't censor us. This is a pretty heavy topic. Hopefully, be able to engender some learning or some conversation about these things. Maybe with her, maybe other folks who are wondering about these sorts of issues. Hey, visit us at mrctv.org, mrctv.org. And when you're there, please consider donating to the Media Research Center because the work is always, always happening. There's never an end to battling for freedom and truth. And of course, you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram and TikTok and on Twitter. And on Gab, I'm at Gardner Goldsmith if you want to reach me, or you can reach me on Twitter at Gard Goldsmith. Thanks for watching, everyone. For MRC TV, I'm Gardner Goldsmith.